Aiming to plan is planning to fail. <laughs> have you heard of this statement? It's a very important statement which we have heard in so many places in social media. But yet we still ignore this statement. And because of this, the, there's so much chaos in our life, right? Something similar is what we are witnessing now. And I see drikpanchang.com. Till November 20th, 2021, which means exactly two months, two days from now. <laughs> now. Till then, Jupiter and Saturn will be conjunct in the sign of Capricorn. Now, what's this conjunction? This is a very peculiar conjunction. Why? Because on one side, Jupiter is getting debilitated. But on the other side, Saturn is giving niche bhanga to Jupiter. He's trying to mitigate the debility. Okay. So what does it mean that Jupiter has become debilitated now? Well, I made the video two, three days back and also the video on Mars transit in Virgo and many people appreciated that video and many of you had requested me uh, to make this Jupiter-Saturn conjunction video. So see, there's, there, there are two areas in your life where from the last five to six months, you had developed quite some optimism. And uh, you, you had a particular plan to execute. But now, you see that maybe that plan which you what would work may not work now. What is actually happening is not that the plan is not going to work, but you, your inner confidence has become a bit shaky. Or what is happening is you are still confident about your plan. But the thing is, you are not seeing the milestones which are required. See, every journey has three things. One is the process. Then second is the milestones and third is the final destination. Yes. So therefore, you have the starting point, you have the journey, you have the end, end point, but you also need to see the different milestones, right? If you do not see regular milestones within a particular journey, then it may be very well that you are not going the right direction. So therefore, this conjunction can give you this feeling that you are not seeing the right milestones which are required. So for example, if now the thing is, before we go into the example, the thing is, which area is it? Well, it's related to the houses which Jupiter rules in your chart uh, as per your ascendant. So Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Pisces for the newcomers. <laughs> And depending on your ascendant, wherever these two signs are falling, you can get a feeling related to uh, these houses. The similar feeling that I just explained. And because Sagittarius is Multricorn sign of Jupiter. So therefore, Jupiter uh, in your chart is primarily the Lord of Sagittarius compared to Pisces. Okay, But that doesn't mean he does not Lord Pisces. Okay. So therefore, now the thing is, when you have uh, this conjunction, this can give you a feeling that maybe I'm in the right place and maybe the process that I want to follow is correct or maybe so many maybes. <laughs> or you may also feel that the destination is right. But you are confused. How do I verify the authenticity of my process? What is the proof that the path that I'm taking now will make me end up in that particular destination that I wish to uh, reach? Will I reach that final destination one day? So therefore, these two months are very crucial because you have to understand that during this conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn, there are different experiences everybody will experience depending on their own dashas and the horoscope okay so the most crucial thing that you need to do is 
seek guidance from somebody who has gone through that journey it's the best and the most easiest and the most simplest thing you can do okay because when jupiter goes into debility then you can get this feeling that oh i i, I don't see the milestones maybe my path is not correct okay so therefore whichever whichever house is jupiter is ruling in your chart i'll come to saturn later because this is a conjunction right this is not just jupiter in capricorn but now if you talk about jupiter's lord lordships uh, the houses which jupiter rules you need to check so for example if jupiter is your uh, seventh lord and you are having problems in your marriage or maybe you don't have any problems in your marriage depending on your horoscope right depending on the dashas so imagine you have a problem right then what happens you can seek guidance from those people within your family or within your friend circle within your neighbors relatives who who has uh, really put a lot of work and effort in their marriage and they are having reasonably good married lives decent stable married lives or if uh, you don't have anybody then you can approach some career uh, some marriage counselor right they can help you with that so fifth house children 10th house is your career 6th house is job All right, seventh house can also show business. So it depends on what is going on within your dashas. But either ways, you need to understand that the road map may not be clear because you do not know the milestones, right? So therefore, any person who has been there where you want to be, maybe after one year, two years, three years, five years down the line, ten years, they just find somebody who has been there. so they can give you the right guidance okay because this is the path of saturn capricorn is the path of saturn you got to understand what capricorn is capricorn shows those people who have who have really made it by their hard work so for example if you want to become rich then during this transit it may not be a very good idea to uh, go and seek guidance from rich people you can also see guidance you, even if they are rich you need to make sure that they have become rich by their own efforts and their own hard work their own skill not because of the money of their parents grandparents or the money of the spouse or some lottery because that category is not capricorn right that's another category but now we are talking of capricorn it's the domain of saturn you have to grind find people who have who have been grinding as lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita manashasthani indriyani prakriti sthani karshati that the living entity is working very hard in this material existence so capricorn in one word shows the material world Okay, so even if you go to the Bhagavad Gita, you will see Arjuna. He has struggled so much throughout his life. One of the names of Arjuna is Gurakesh. Yes, Gurakesh is one. There are many meanings, of course, <laughs> but one of the meanings is one who does not sleep in the night, one who is practicing in the night, one who has conquered his sleep. Right. In fact, one day uh, he had seen Bhima, his elder brother. that uh bhima was very fond of food so one day what happened uh, he saw that uh, there was no light it was pitch dark and bhima was eating something in the night so then arjuna was a bit suspicious he asked bhima that how can you eat something because you are not seeing it right and then bhima said well uh, i don't see but i have the practice you know practice makes man perfect <laughs> so then arjuna thought if my brother can eat in darkness just by practicing then why can't i practice archery dhanul vidya i will also practice in the night and i will become very good archer and that's what he did he would fight in the uh, he, he would shoot arrows in, in the night he would practice archery in the night in the dead of the night right and he became unparalleled in archery 
nobody uh, could surpass Arjuna. The best of the best, right? That is why he is known as Savya Sachi. Yes, he is known as Parantapa. He is known as Dhananjay. So many names. Kiriti, Falguni, Shvetvahan. So many names Arjuna has. Why? Because he was ready to grind. Are you ready to grind? If And this grinding is not for career, money, name, fame, power, position. This is for any area of life, right? So, the houses which Saturn rules in your chart, they can give you an idea of who can be that guide who you should approach. Who are those people who have also who have also been grinding like the way you will need to. <laughs> right? So, for example, if um, Saturn is your ninth lord, then maybe your father or fatherly figures or your guru can help you. Maybe they are those who have been there. They have seen what comes one after the other. Okay? So, the best thing you can do during this transit is to check the houses which Jupiter rules and then see these, those will be the areas regarding which you will need guidance. And the houses which Saturn rules in your chart, they will be the ones who will provide you that guidance. Right? Because they, these houses, Capricorn and Aquarius, they are the ones who are giving niche bhanga to Sagittarius and Pisces. That is how you use astrology. Niche bhanga. Right? Mitigation of the debilities coming from Saturn. So the houses which Saturn rules in your chart, they are like your saviors. Imagine Jupiter is like um, Arjuna in this case and Lord Krishna is like Saturn in this case. Saturn is teaching Jupiter. Well, actually he's not teaching, but he's just trying to help Jupiter by giving the experience that he already has, right? Practical experience, realized experience. This is how you use astrology. Not, oh, Saturn is giving niche bhanga. It's all done, you know. You'll never face problems. All problems related to Jupiter is gone. It's finished. Life is perfect. No, not like this. That's not how you do Jyotish. Okay. Maybe that's how you do, maybe modern uh, YouTube astrology works like that. But in real reality, in your real life, that's not how you can learn or make use of Jyotish. Like I get people who come, come to me and say, Sir, this astrologer told, you know, my uh, Venus is in debility in Virgo, but because Mercury is also there, Mercury is exalted, he is the lord of the sign, so the debility is cancelled, so my Venus is perfect. And then I'm like, how do you make use of this knowledge? And then he's like, so what do you mean? And then I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I mean. Your Venus was in debility, but apparently he's not in debility anymore. No? So are you happy with that knowledge? Be happy. Go and have a cup of tea or some milkshake. Life's good, right? No, that's not how you, you, you do astrology. You, you should know that this Mercury is giving me niche manga. Who is that Mercury in the chart? If that Mercury is your Dara Karaka, your spouse could help you, right? If Mercury is your Amatya Karaka, then maybe somebody from your profession can help you get uh, rid of that debility of Venus, right? So, astrology should always be seen from real life perspective. You should not just do some bogus calculations related to planets. Anything like Shadbal or you know, Navamsha or anything, Stagvarga or you know, Lagna chart, Dasha's transits. Everything is related to the end result, which is your life, the experience that you are having, right? It's great to have a niche bhanga of Venus by Mercury, but then how is it going to affect you in your real life? Can you answer that question? If no, then better not tell the person that, oh, my dear sir, your Venus was in debility, but now he's not, you know? But then why is he out of the debility? <laughs> Right, So therefore, Saturn is like the savior of Jupiter because now he knows what's coming next. All right. Therefore, look at the houses that Jupiter rules. Try to prepare a vision. Try to prepare a plan. Try to have a vision rather and prepare a plan by the help of Saturn. 
okay and you can please let me know in the comments how this transit is unfolding for you regarding the houses that jupiter rules in your chart and how do you think is the houses that saturn rules how are they helping the houses that jupiter rules in your chart all right and as usual this will finally manifest in your life through your own horoscope your dashas and the other transits on transits in general but if there are permanent transits happening over your natal planets then this can be far more significant or if you're running the dasha of jupiter or saturn then also this transit will be very important for you all right and if jupiter saturn there and if you have prominent planets in capricorn like your atmakarka or sun moon or lagna lord then also this transit will be very important okay so therefore i hope now you know what you should do for these two months all right Thank you very much. If you're new, then please subscribe to the channel below. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is getting obsessed about this Nij Bhanga of Saturn, which of Jupiter, which is being apparently blessed by Saturn, but still they are clueless, headless, and pointless, right? And if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit or your marriage, health, relationships, career, or anything else you can go to my website down below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him irrespective of who is giving each finger to jupiter all right thank you very much